bring to view that God blessed me and my family, my wife Ellen and I, with a special child. Ricky was an angel sent to us by God. God also gave me a saint in Ricky's mom, my wife Ellen, and the unconditional love that we have from Ricky, who could never speak, couldn't even cry, was always there because we knew that if we fed him or we had contact with him, he would grab your hand, put his head on your shoulder, and you could feel the love. And we know that Ricky knows that he is loved. Having a loving relationship with your family is vitally important for success in trying to give what you want to your special child. That's dignity, respect, safety, and comfort. We have so many issues as an elected official that we have faced, Ellen and I together, being in Albany for over 25 years, working to try to bring the safest environment and, as I said before, dignity and respect to our population. We have over half a million people that are impacted by the needs of special families in the state of New York. Many of these people don't understand because society doesn't embrace people with special needs. Group homes were very difficult in getting into communities because they didn't have knowledge. And not being, they being the unknown of these special children, they learn from the success that we have with special homes of how much love they bring to a community and that they are a vital port, an important aspect. We always should focus on what our special children can do, not what they can't do. And we have many programs that are out there. We have many agencies that provide wonderful things. We have health care that is available. But many people, because even are divorced from their own families, because there's a denial of the existence. It's not something that you brag about saying, I have a special child. And unfortunately, the resources aren't apparent. We're making them apparent. We now have a website and an app. And this app is going to be a resource center to be able to help these families and parents and agencies and everybody who has direct contact with our special children to have an understanding of what their needs are and what is available to them. Very important that we make people aware that there are people that are supportive and care.